Hey everyone, I've got a bit of a cold, so I'm gonna sound funnier than normal, and we're gonna start working on Sonic's head. First, I'm gonna set my cursor to world origin. It's always good practice to make sure that your cursor is at world origin before you add objects. I'm gonna start by adding a cube. His head might feel too complicated to start with a cube, but we're gonna be overlapping multiple smaller objects to get his head shaped how we want, then during the re process, connect them all together. I'm not very good at sculpting, so this is the method that I've found easiest. Move your cube to about where his head's gonna be, and then add a subdivision modifier. I'm gonna scale the cube up by three, and we're gonna need some more geometry, so turn up the subdivision viewport display to two. As always, I like to turn off optimal display. So in preparation for filming, I made Sonic's head a few different times in several different ways, and I found it easiest to start off by rotating this beginning shape on the x-axis. Rotating isn't necessary, but once I added the face objects, I found out I wanted to redo the head shape with a slight angle, so we might as well start off by rotating the head by apparently 36 degrees. And this is going to help the cube line up with the brow object later. Now it's time to shape the cube. We're just trying to get the general shape of the round part of Sonic's head. Here I'm scaling along the local Z axis by hitting S and then double tapping Z. When you're happy with the head shape, apply the subdivision modifier. Also feel free to archive before you apply, just in case you want to go back. Now we've got more geometry to work with, but we need even more. So let's put another subdivision modifier on, no optimal display. When you add a subdivision modifier, you lose some volume, so scale everything up to get your original size back. Select all and shade smooth. So now we can make use of that extra geometry by proportionally editing individual vertices. I'm going to be adding a bunch of objects soon, so in order to keep that organized, I want to create some new collections. One for the body objects. and one for the head objects. So now let's make his brow, which we can do pretty easily with a curve object. Shift A, add a path. In the curve menu over here, set the depth and resolution. I'm going with probably two, but feel free to use whatever settings you want. Later when I retopo, I'm going to try to use most of the vertex positions from the objects I'm currently making, so keeping it lower poly works better for me. But if you're used to retopoing sculpted objects, you might find it easier to use higher resolution counts. It's just personal preference, really. Now get the brow in position on the head. I'm going to start somewhere in here where his brow is at its lowest. Turn off proportional for now, and move the curve over two units to line up with the origin. Add a mirror modifier. Enable clipping so our geometry can't cross the mirror line. And now just shape the curve. You'll want the first two handles pretty close together so that his brow has that flattened area at the bottom. I'm just going to get the rough shape from the front first, then worry about Y positioning later. And I think I'm going to need another handle in here. So select these two handles and use the search function, which I have set to spacebar, to search for subdivide. Move the new handle down here near the first two.
Now we can start placing the handles on the Y axis. With the final handle selected, more can be easily added by hitting E to extrude. The goal during Y placement is to get the brow's geometry to be close to lining up with his head. Never hesitate to subdivide if you need more handles. When you like the placement of everything, select the head object and tab into edit mode. I actually like the shape of my brow more than I like the shape of my head, so I'm going to proportionally edit my head to fit the brow better. Now we're going to do some stuff that will be hard to mirror by hand, so delete half of the head and add a mirror modifier. Move the mirror modifier to the first position and enable clipping. I want to be able to delete the faces where his eyes will be going without losing too much of the head shape. So we're going to make some cuts on the head object but there's a lot going on visually, so this is a good time for optimal display. We can also select and hide the back half of the head. Now use the knife tool with K to cut in some new faces, and use J where needed to divide faces. Once that's done, select and delete vertices where his eyes should be. And now we've got something that's starting to resemble Sonic. Adjust the radius of your curve wherever you want. I'm just going to scale down this end a little. We've also kind of changed the head geometry, so I'm going to adjust that a little bit. I'm going to set my 3D cursor to object origin, and then use the 3D cursor as the pivot point. Now I can scale vertices towards the 3D cursor, which feels easier to me than manually trying to position everything.
Add some materials. Let's put the 3D cursor back at the world origin. Name the brow object. And then let's make the eyes. Shift A, add a cube. Position it in the head. Make sure the pivot point is at median point, and like the head, scale up the cube by three. Add a subdivision surface modifier, turn it up a bit, I went with three, and turn off optimal display. Now position and scale it to become his eyes. Once you're happy with it, apply the subdivision modifier. And delete anything we don't need for the eyes. Select and delete one half, then mirror it. Turn on clipping. Now with proportional editing, shape the eye object to fit his head. Here's my custom pivot point thing again. I just want the curvature of the eye object to somewhat match up with the other objects. So now we can select all and shade smooth. Add the white material and name the object. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Next time we'll wrap up making his face. Please leave us a like and subscribe if you're not. If you want to check out the finished Sonic model, we have them up on our Patreon. Thank you again. Stay safe. I love you all. Goodbye.